at risk of seeing some storms. Yes, there is a likely threat, too. We're talking from Wichita Falls to Oklahoma City on into Tulsa, southeastern Oklahoma. Antlers under the threat, too. That's that level two out of five. And this is for later today into the evening hours. So what are the different types of severe weather? Well, we have large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes. So let's look through them. That area really along the Red River, closer to Wichita Falls on into Oklahoma City, that's where we could likely see that large hail threat. We're talking about hail potentially the size of golf balls. Then we go into that damaging wind threat. This is a little more expansive. And really when we're looking at the parameters, of this storm system, winds, damaging winds, will most likely be the biggest threat across the board. But we also can't rule out the potential of seeing a tornado or two, that wind threat as far south as Dallas. And we do have a possible threat for tornadoes. This will be as we head into the evening tonight. Of course, whenever we have severe weather and it's taking place at night, that's dangerous because oftentimes people caught off guard. The sun has set. You can't see the storm and the tornado in the distance. Now with the nature of these storms that we could potentially see evolve throughout the afternoon, they might be rain wrapped. These tornadoes might be along a line of storms. They might be relatively weak. And when we look at nocturnal tornadoes, of course, those tornadoes that happen at night, in the month of February between 1953 to 2015, that's our sample time, yeah, we've seen about 352. Is it a lot? Relatively speaking, no, but it does happen, and so we need to watch that. So future track showing, look at this. This afternoon, we'll see those showers, the streamer showers, as they're called, moving in from the Gulf of Mexico, but it's energy out to the west that will eventually be tapped. There's a bit of a cap, so some warmer air aloft that might not really trigger these storms until later on, but if they do get going, they could turn severe rather quickly and we could see those damaging winds potentially those large that large hail but then look at how close through the panhandle of texas and oklahoma some of that snow a possibility this system marches to the east this is tomorrow morning on thursday seeing that rain and storms in arkansas as it continues to shift east kiana that's where you come in as we'll be watching that severe weather threat also Shift east. That's absolutely right. It's calm now, and as we can see, the storm is going to shift east, as Stephen mentioned, to places like Perkinson, uh, Mississippi, and Nashville, Tennessee, both on your screen here. Quieter conditions for the start of today, but that severe threat does remain in place for tomorrow. So we'll be watching for several uh, opportunities for heavy rain and even some severe weather as we head into tomorrow. Taking a look at the future track, starting it right as we head into tomorrow afternoon, we already see the storms developing off to the west. That will continue to press and march on to the east as we head throughout the daytime hours, really firing up, really blossoming as we get into those daytime hours. We get the daytime heating into place that's fueling those storms, and we still have that likelihood for those damaging winds to really start ramping up around this time as well as this area that we're watching very closely for that severe weather to really take place throughout the daytime hours into tomorrow. Again, you're seeing that line of storms stretching from all the way up Lexington, Kentucky, down towards New Orleans there, and that's where we see the fire up for those storms, the severe weather uh, very likely in those areas. You're seeing it here in the shading of red, that same area, that same stretch of area that I mentioned, likely to see that uh, severe weather threat. And then even in the orange, we still have that likelihood as well, but it's really the red that we have to watch. Again, level two out of five for that severity. Uh, as we head into tomorrow, again, I mentioned the winds are going to be likely on the damaging side right in this area where we're seeing the darker shading of blue from Louisville all the way down towards Alexandria, New Orleans there, uh, just north of New Orleans. And then we still have the threat for hail on top of that. So a mixed bag of severe weather really expected across the southeast as we head into tomorrow. The likelihood of that will continue for tomorrow as well. That tornado threat, as Stephen mentioned, likely to really happen uh, during the daytime hours for the southeast, but still nonetheless is equally da dangerous. Uh, we see this area of red here. That's the likelihood for the tornado threat uh, as we head into tomorrow for the southeast. So this is going to be a storm system that kicks off today, lasts through tomorrow for most of the southeast, and then eventually will move offshore. Likelihood of damaging winds and lightning are the top priority when it comes to those uh, threats there, but then we still have the possibility for flash flooding, large hail in the size of quarters, uh, and even tornadoes possible going into tomorrow evening.
I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.